I'm about to plug this outlet into itself, which is the first of the five things you can do with this male-to-male -male extension cord that I'm going to talk about in this video. Two of them are safe, and three of them are incredibly dangerous. Hopefully this is obvious, but you really shouldn't try any of the things I talk about in this video, even if I say they're safe, because you never know what could go wrong. But you've waited long enough, so let's plug this outlet into itself. Three, two, one. Nothing happened. There was no fire, no explosion, the breaker wasn't even tripped. So why not? Well, this might look to us like two separate outlets, but it's actually not. If we look behind the cover, we can see that each of the three pieces of metal behind the top port is actually the same piece of metal behind the bottom port. That's why there are just three wires going from the outlet to the breaker. So when we plug the outlet into itself, we're not actually making any new connections. But what if we plug this outlet into a different one. Well, two things could happen. Remember, outlets have alternating current, which means that the current is alternately being pushed in one direction and then pulled in the other. If both outlets are alternating in sync, nothing happens. It's just like when we plug the one outlet into itself. But if the alternating of one outlet is out of sync with the alternating of the other, then you could have a situation where one outlet is pulling at the same time another is pushing, and you're basically causing a short circuit at 120 to 240 volts. And that could be catastrophic. But it actually gets even worse, because you don't even have to do something as crazy as plugging an outlet into another one to be in danger. Even just sitting here holding this wire, I'm in danger. Why? Because if one end of this wire is plugged into an outlet, then the other end is alive with 120 volts. So if something were to short these pins, that thing would get very, very hot as a ton of electricity poured through it. It would be exactly the same as shoving a fork into an outlet. And if you touched the hot lead while being connected to the ground, which is how you spend most of your time, you could have 120 volts and an insane amount of amps flowing through you not pleasant. So why does this thing even exist if it's so dangerous? Well, there are actually two reasons that people try to use this, and I'll talk about those in a minute. But first, if you want to make awesome electronics designs and have them manufactured at an incredibly high quality, you have to check out PCBWay. They manufacture amazing PCBs based on your designs, and not only is it super easy to order them, they also provide complete transparency on how your order is coming along, from pre-production to packaging. So if you want a high quality PCB for your next electronics project, check out PCBWay pcbway.com or use the first link in the description. All right, here are the two reasons that people try to use this incredibly dangerous cable. Imagine you're hanging up your Christmas lights and you get all the way to the end of the string and you realize you've hung them up backwards. So now the female end of the string is the one by the outlet. The solution seems obvious, right? Instead of using a male to female extension cord, use a male to male one and you'll be able to power those lights even though you hung them up the wrong way. And that would probably actually work. Is it worth the risk of someone accidentally zapping themselves because you have 120 volts sticking out of this cable? Of course not. And the other situation is even worse. Imagine the power goes out, but you have a gas generator in your backyard just waiting to be used. Well, you could plug one of these ends into the gas generator and the other end into one of your house's electrical outlets. And then boom, you have power throughout your whole house. Seems pretty easy, right? Until some lineman comes along and fixes the power lines. Well, now power is coming from the generator plant to your house, but it's also going from your house back up the power lines. This collision is not gonna be good, especially for the lineman, which is why plugging a generator into your house without a transfer switch to protect against things like this is highly illegal. So all in all, this cable is incredibly dangerous. Now, all that's left is to go and cut this cord in half. And then you can watch this video where I made a hacking device that can take over almost any computer for about $10. I'll see you over there.